Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. This is uh, going to be my tribute build to Boyd Crompton, Trekworks. Uh, Boyd has always been a good friend of mine. I was very, very upset and very surprised that he passed. Uh, the last that we spoke, uh, that he was, he was actually doing pretty good and was excited about getting back to building and getting you know back to doing the, the model shop show and you know just enjoying life and uh, I don't know what happened something took a drastic turn and w we lost him so love you buddy rest in peace Boyd Crompton it, like I say this is going to be my tribute build to Boyd this is the uh, Matt Jeffries uh, concept shuttle for the original series this is a Jeffrey Fink model. Um, this is it's 3D printed. This is in 132 scale. You can get the files for this on Cosmic Scale Models, uh, but the files that you get there are 148th scale. This has been resized into 132nd scale. Uh, and one of the reasons I did that, I I can use. Uh, some of you know I'm building the AMT. Uh, Star Trek original series bridge set and the figures there are 130 132 scale uh, I have some of those figures left over that I will incorporate into this uh, but this is the like I say the Matt Jeffries design of the uh, concept shuttle these are the pylons for the warp engines there's the warp engines back there uh, these are the end caps for it, which they are in gray resin at the moment. Uh, I'm going to clean them up and get them uh, nice and, and uh, shiny and get rid of the imperfections. And then I'm going to vacuum form a couple of clear domes for it. Uh, this is a light panel for the interior and you got steps and uh, you got um, doors. Uh, on both sides and you got the steps and everything for it. Uh, this is the main back panel actually that goes up here on this one And I've had a I'll show you a little deal. This this goes in here like this It's the back panel and you can see this little Imperfection here uh, For some reason or another my printer under extruded that it, it was starving for filament and it created this line. I was able to just take this one off the print bed and put glue in there and it is perfectly fine. I just got to go back in and, and do the seam work. Uh, however, this one wasn't so lucky that it, it actually came apart. So I'm going to reprint this part uh, just so I can get, make sure that I've got the right tolerances in these doors and I'm doing this off screen. I want to make sure I've got the right tolerances and I guess I could probably work with that but I just wanted to make sure that uh, that everything was going to work work fine with that I may I may try to work with this one instead of reprinting it uh, this is the interior floor that's a one of the resin printed seats you put it's got six seats in there it's got a center console which is this that's got to be cleaned up uh, I printed it in in white and uh, you can see you, you know uh, when you put a light in there it will glow and so the console goes on there like that Let's see if I can do this with one hand and this is the, the control board console at uh, the uh, top of the console and it goes on top just like that uh, the only thing that I have left to do 
as far as parts wise like I say I've got to vacuum form the clear domes uh, and I've got to come up with the plastic for the windows and which I'm going to use a, a two liter drink bottle for that more than likely haven't decided on what uh, on I do have the decals for it in 132 scale they were scaled up and I've got those I don't have them printed out just yet but uh, yeah this is going to be the build the build for void uh, like I say very you know very sad deal this is the second friend in in two years second good friend in two years that I've lost uh, I say I've lost I'm not being, trying to be selfish we lost yeah, but like I say, they were they were good friends of mine. I've known I've known Boyd Crompton probably the entire time that I've been on YouTube. Uh, I was actually an avid member on the Sci-Fi Model Action Board uh, before I started YouTube. Yeah, so, and uh, that that board was created by Boyd. Yeah, all you guys that. You ex SFMA members, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, on that board, I was anything sci fi, if any guys remember that. Uh, but that's one of the things that attracted uh, <laughs> attracted Boyd to me. He says, with a, with a name like anything sci fi, you just can't go wrong. And uh, so it just stuck. But uh, anyway. Um, I'm not going to get started immediately on this. Like I say, I, I'm limited on space, and I've got a bad habit of starting something and then putting it aside and starting something else. Uh, so I'm going to put this aside for the time being. I'm going to finish my my uh, original series bridge, and I've decided that I'll probably do a video on it. I wasn't going to do any video coverage on the bridge, but I'm, I may go ahead and do that. Um, but if you're interested in this, like I say, you can get the model from cosmic scale models uh, it's not a very expensive you get the files you don't you don't get it printed out you have to have a source to print it uh, so you can get the files uh, at a very very reasonable price so and then just print it out you can print it out in 170 second scale 148 scale and like I say I upscaled it to this uh, with a with some help from a friend uh, help me with the the measurements and what to scale it to um, but like I say you can get get the files at uh, cosmic scale models so that's it thanks for watching and I'll just catch you in the next video